This simple tool could turn any trading strategy into a profitable one. So let's get straight to it. Hey Trader Devs, my name is David and welcome to my channel where I go through trading strategies that I find on the YouTube and on the web and then I code them to debunk the bad ones and find the good ones. Today I'm going to be doing something slightly different which is the much acclaimed tutorial on how to use the optimizer. If you don't know what the optimizer is, it's a Chrome extension for Chrome the browser that works on Brave, Chrome and the Edge browsers and it helps us optimize trading strategies. It's a kind of a robot that you let run in the background over a small period of time and it's and it's going to go through all of the inputs to, in the settings of a strategy and it's going to go and run through in a cycles to try and optimize them to find the best settings and this is something that i've been working on in the background for quite a while now with the community uh, adding lots of features so there's now quite a few features it's something that i'm going to continue building on and making better as we go along so i guess the best thing is to get straight over to my computer have a look at this uh, tool and see how it works but before I go, if you do enjoy the video, uh, if you don't mind just giving it a big old thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I do trading strategies every Monday and Friday on YouTube. This one's a bit different, but in general, we talk about debunking trading strategies. Okay, let's go over to the computer and have a look. Right, here we are on my computer on a strategy that I actually created a while ago called The Works. Uh, I'm going to be optimizing this one so that you can see how it actually goes through all of the trading strategies and finds the best settings. So we all know the pain of going through uh, this settings button here to try and find the best settings for a trading strategy. This one is currently at 65% profitable but in a net loss. So that means there's something fundamentally wrong with the actual strategy uh, settings so the the idea is is to make them better uh, by going through all of the settings and changing them so I've made this tool with my team of uh, developers which is called the optimizer it's a uh, it's a trading view strategy optimizer which will go through all of the settings automatically so it's going to go through all of these settings here it's going to change and increment the numbers one by one to try and find your best settings for you so the idea is uh, we go to the link down in the description to find the optimizer. So if we go back over to our chart here uh, and we open up the optimizer. We've got a couple of tabs here and I'm just going to go through them all very, very quickly to tell you what's going on. Now, the tool actually consists of an optimizer so you can optimize for pretty much everything that you can find here inside the uh, back tester. So if you're looking to optimize your win rate, your net profit, you can optimize that up here and then you can sort of build some filters so that you can build your perfect trading strategy. You can download the results and send it to our Discord to share with other people on our the in the community because the most important thing is uh, sharing between each other uh, and then you can uh, then you can launch your tester bot here i'll look through that in a second uh, the back testing parameters are the uh, way of uh, configuring the bot so that it'll go through we'll look at that as well the watch list the back test is a back tester that will go through everything that you find in your watch list here and find the best settings for all of them. So the power of this tool is not only being able to optimize all of the settings is that you can actually you can optimize for a multitude of coins, forex pairs, stocks. You can optimize for anything that you're ready to trade with. It doesn't have to be part of the David Tech trading strategies either. You can use this tool on any strategy uh, that you can find. Okay, so if you look here as I said you can do back testing on the watch list I'm not going to be looking much into this part today but it is part of the tool we'll go into off. at any point you can download your settings as well and if you want to remove everything you can just clear it all there as well okay that was the settings let's see how we can start to uh, optimize this trading strategy okay the first thing we're going to do is go up to the uh, plugin in the corner here and we're going to start by getting our parameters the reason being is is we have to configure very quickly the bot 
it will work straight off of uh, the default settings but we want to imagine that you're trying to configure all of these settings in one go it's going to take an extremely long time so we're going to configure it so that it actually uh, finds the best set, uh, take profit and stop loss so the idea is is we're going to go here and we're going to go to our back test to the parameters there and we're going to get our get parameters now if it's the first time that you have run this uh, program it may need to refresh the browser uh, this has gone away and created an excel spreadsheet i'm going to download that it's called the works now if you're not from europe or uh, in the usa you might find that these are not correctly formatted once opened in excel it's because some uh, parts regions in the in the world uh, use commas some use uh, uh, semicolons uh, to separate these uh, this data so you will have to go over to here and go data and click text to columns in the corner over here so as you can see we've opened our excel spreadsheet now the spreadsheet gives us information uh, for all of the uh, settings so if you open back up here each and every row is equal to the name of one of these here so you can go through and you can choose what you would actually like to uh, optimize today i'm going to be optimizing the take profit and stop loss in percentage because that's what i want to work out uh, as i said you can actually just leave it as is but this would take an extremely long time and depending on the speed and the power of your computer uh, it's probably best to optimize part by part so anything that you don't want to optimize you just literally highlight and you right mouse click and then you delete those rows so i'm going to leave only the percentages here and i'm just going to delete every other row there so as i said it is important that you do this in blocks number one because uh, it creates a strategy that you can have complete confidence in trading you understand behind what's behind every part of the trading strategy and how the blocks are built the other reason is is that if you're using uh, a slower computer or slower internet connection it might just uh, bug and then you will lose those results right so i'm now left with the uh, the parts that i actually want to optimize so the stop loss long the st take the profit long the stop loss short and the take profit short now this is so we have these columns here and each column has uh, a uh, order for the bot to understand so we're going to start off with the from value so this is obviously where we're going to start uh, uh, from so we're, i'm going to set these to 0 0.5 this is the minimum value that the bot will enter and then we're going to have the two which is going to be the maximum value of two that i'm going to enter so the idea is is the bot is going to enter and increment the uh, stop loss from 0.4 to 2 the step is by how much is going to increment every time it goes and uh, updates that value so for instance if you are leaving it at 1 it's going to go 1.4 uh, no 0.4 1.4 2 if you want to increase increase it by 0.1 it will increase by 0.1 and it will go 0.5 0.6 0.7 0.8 all the way up to 2 so i'm going to increment by 0.1 the default value is just default the default value that's already there you can change that if you want the priority we're just going to leave as is and then we have some conditions here now the conditions filter out the number of results if you're looking for a positive risk to reward strategy uh, where you've got a two to one risk to reward here is uh, where we enter our conditions so the idea is is we're going to be looking for a stop loss that's going to be smaller so less than the take profit long so the bot will actually understand that command and I'm going to do it the other way around just as a safety uh, for the take profit. Now the take profit obviously has to be uh, more than, because it's the more than sign, than the stop loss. Now this might get a bit compl uh, complicated, it's just for making sure that we filter out a uh, of too many results. You don't actually have to fill out these if you don't want to. So I'm going to do the same thing for the short. So, oops, short here. I'm going to add a more than and a less than value. So once again, the bot is going to go through to the stop loss and it's going to make sure that it's entering values only that are only less than the take profit. And the other way around for the take profit is making sure that it is adding values that are more than the stop loss long. We're going to save that. Boom. 
And then we're going to upload those settings back to our optimizer. So I'm going to go to the back test, the back testing parameters here. And I'm going to just press upload parameters here. We're going to find the uh, settings file here. And that's going to upload and tell us that we have four conditions. Obviously, that's the four conditions that we've left in there. Uh, and we can go over to the test strategy button. Okay, here is where we're going to be configuring what we're going to be looking for in our strategy. So personally, I like to uh, test for the net profit. So this here, the uh, net profit over here, sorry, uh, net profit percentage all. And then I like to add some filters. So I'm going to make sure that we have a win rate that's more than 50. So I'll type in 50 here. And then I'm going to be looking for percent profitable in this humongous list. So we're going to go down, look for percent profitable all. So once those two values are set, the bot is actually going to look and to try and find the best net profit for any trading strategy setups that have a uh, win rate of over 50%. So let's press that uh, test button and let the, bo the bot run for a bit. Okay, and the very last bit that we're going to be doing is uh, deciding the method that we use to enter all of those values. There is three here. I tend to start off with random. I suggest that you go back and forward and test them. Uh, once you've found a good uh, trading strategy, you can go through and uh, use the sequential afterwards. I'm going to use random today because it allows me to choose the number of times that the bot's going to run. So I'm going to hit random here, and then I'm going to press test and this is going to launch our bot so as you can see the bot is going through all of the settings and filling them out for its first default and it's going to ask us how many times we want to run i'm going to do 50 for this because i'm just uh, doing this for the channel but uh, you can add as many as you want from anything from five to five million but i wouldn't suggest you doing five million uh, i tend to do it for anything between 500 and a thousand maximum myself but i have a quite powerful computer so maybe it's best to do a smaller number. Let's start with 50, let's go. Okay, we press okay. Right, as you can see, it's now going through all of the trading strategies uh, inputs and updating them one by one until it finds the best settings. We're currently at a net profit of uh, 29, which is much better than what it was. It was at a negative 30 odd a minute ago. Uh, now we're at 36. As you can see, it's actually finding the best settings. Uh, we're going to leave it to run through the full cycle of 50. I'm going to have a cup of tea and I'll be back in a couple of seconds. Come on, Dave. Again, he's got to call a new strategy. Okay, as you can see, uh, that has uh, finished going through. So if I click OK, it's actually now going to give the best settings and uh, set the best settings into the bot. Uh, I'm going to do that, and it's going to download us a spreadsheet. So the uh, so if you now go back to the settings, uh, this equity curve doesn't look great still, but it looks better than it did. The net profit has gone from uh, a very low minus 30 i believe if correctly and we've got a percent profitable of 77.44 so a lot better than what it was uh, and i've only done 50 cycles so if it, i could have run that for 500 cycles you probably found the even better results let's open that spreadsheet very very quickly Okay, inside the spreadsheet, you have all of the information of all of, all of the runs that run by the bot. So what the idea is, is you have all of uh, information from the back testing. So you can use the sort features of uh, Excel or whatever you're using to sort and filter. So if, for instance, I'm looking for maybe a trading strategy that has a lower drawdown. So I can go here, pull this out here. I'm going to scroll across very quickly to find the drawdown here. Okay, so if we're looking to uh, filter by the max drawdown here instead, so maybe we're going to go here and we could look for the smallest drawdown. So that would be 29%, which makes it not a great settings in the first place. But anyway, 29.4%. Uh, let's say that we actually wanted these settings instead. All we'd have to do is go here and delete all of the previous rows, the low rows below it. Here, like this. 
just delete and that will leave us with the one row that's interesting to us as i just said uh, you continue along and you can see all of the settings have actually been saved here for that you can go along and see you can go along and you can see the net profit long net profit uh short net profit for all in percentage here 44 percent uh you can continue going along and you can see the settings that have been used here you can see that we're using a stop loss of 0 0.8 and a take profit of one 1.9 so i'm going to save that and then i'll just go and import it so i'm going to save and the optimizer has actually got some more settings as well here so we're going to import those so that we we'll use those settings instead so i'm going to click the cog button at the top here and as you can see we've added two buttons down the bottom here one's for uploading one's for downloading downloading is obviously to back up your settings so that you always have a copy of your previous settings on your computer you can upload them at any time just using the upload button and then i'm going to click here and I'm gonna upload that table that I was just playing around with on Excel. So it's this one here, it has the 50 rows, so I've de now uh, deleted all of the rows except for the last one. I'm gonna double click that, and that's gonna go and set all of the settings in there for us, so that we will have those settings instead. I always suggest double checking and making sure that all of the settings are set correctly. Uh, you never know if there's an update on an indicator and some of the names have changed, so it makes a difference anyway. So be careful when you're uploading, just double check. The good thing about the upload and download settings is also that we share all of our settings on uh, Discord, so you can come in, you can plug in other people's settings and test them out as well. It gives you a good uh, baseline and an idea on how to set the settings up by using other people's settings please always feel welcome to come along and join our community the discord links are down below where we share all these settings uh, with each other and help each other find our best settings i hope you enjoyed this video this was something that was requested quite a lot inside my community uh, there is absolutely tons of features that i have not actually been able to go through in this i will continue doing these kind of videos in the future to help us understand the tools that i'm building because i've also built a forward tester one thing that i would like to go through with you very very quickly before leaving is overfitting now i know that a lot of people will uh, say in the comments this is overfitting david when testing on a, hi a historical data you always have to be careful that you don't overfit overfit means uh, one of two things you have uh, set, set such strict settings that you never ever get a trade or in the other way around completely the opposite side of the scale where your settings uh, do not fit a real market and you end up with trades that work against you uh, the only way to f uh, test this is is to uh, use something like my forward testing platform i've also created a forward testing platform that takes data from bybit and also from Bi binance uh, you can test all of the indicators that you use on this forward testing platform uh, details about that is also in the discord I hope you enjoyed this video. It was something that was asked a lot for inside my community. You can download the optimizer with the links down in the description. And without further ado, I'm gonna wish you a wonderful weekend. I hope to see you in the Discord. I do live streams on Tuesday and Thursday in the Discord. Have a great weekend, guys, and I will see you on Monday. Take care, keep safe, keep coding, and I'll see you on Monday. Goodbye.